Um, let's take a look at the first review for this unit, right? So first thing is find the midpoint of the line segment with the given endpoint. So you're given the two endpoints and you have to find the midpoint. For us to find the X value of the midpoint, I'm gonna look at the X values that are given, right? Because the endpoints. I'm gonna add these two X values, negative nine plus a negative two, and whatever I get, I'm gonna divide it by two. So I'm just gonna add them and then divide it by two. Negative nine plus a negative two is negative 11, and negative 11 divided by two gives me negative 5.5. Right, that's my x value. Now for the y value, I'm going to look at the y values that I, I'm given. And the same thing, I'm going to add them. Whatever I get, I'll divide it by 2. Right, 4 plus 0 is 4, and then 4 divided by 2 is 2. So my answer, it's right there. Don't forget that whenever you type it, don't forget to to include the space after the comma. Any questions on these? No? Now, after that, we move into something like this, and this actually gave a, a few of you guys a little bit of a hard time. It says, find the other endpoint of the line segment with the given endpoint and the midpoint. So here, we're trying to find the other endpoint, which is gonna use, let me use E for endpoint. I don't know the coordinates, so I'm gonna call it X and Y, because I don't know. I know that for the midpoint, I add the X values of the endpoints. So that's why I wrote down the other endpoint, because I have to add the endpoints. So I'm just gonna go negative seven plus X, because I'm adding the X values. And I know usually I add them and divide it by two to come out with the midpoint. Right, I divide it by two to come out with a midpoint. So if I don't divide this by two, I'm gonna say it has to equal to four is twice the midpoint. Right, because uh, four, once you divide four by two, you know, it's gonna give us two, right? So it's gonna equal to twice the midpoint. Now negative seven plus X equals four. We can easily solve for X. We get that X is equal to 11, right? That's our half of our answer. Now to find the Y value, I'm gonna add the Y values of the endpoints. So negative seven plus Y, it has to equal to twice the midpoint. So it has to equal to negative 12, right? Twice the midpoint. Now to solve for Y, I'm gonna add seven to both sides. So Y is equal to negative five. So there's my answer. So you have to add the endpoints. So that's why I added the endpoint to be X and Y. Even though I don't know the values, you do need them. So X and Y, because you do need those values. All right. Any questions on these? Now, after this, we're going to classify each angle as acute or two is right or straight. We know that a 90 degrees is an L shape. So if we close the L shape, obviously it says a 90. That will we got, have acute. If we open the L shape, in this case, we get obtuse, right? So in this case is obtuse. I think this is an easy one you guys remember. Now let me move on to something that like this. You guys will have to find a measure of the angle. But in your case, on your homework, I'm going to draw a protractor. So I'm going to have a protractor, something like this. And on each side, I'm going to have two numbers, right, on this line at the bottom, I'm going to have 0 and 180. I'm going to have those two numbers. On the other side, let's say I have a 165 here and a 15 outside. I want to have a number inside and a number outside. The way we're going to find the, the angle, the measure of the angle, if I choose my outside numbers, 180 and 15, the outside numbers, I'm going to subtract them, 180 minus 15. Now, if I don't like those numbers because they're a little big, I want to go with the inside numbers, subtract those values, 165 minus 0. No matter which one of those two operations you do, you're going to get, in this case, my angle is 165. So either subtract both numbers on the outside, 180 minus 15, or both numbers from the inside, 165 minus 0. 
But whichever one you do, you get the same answer. The only thing is, do not mix and match. What I mean with that is, let me choose a number from the outside, and let me choose a number from the inside. So I'm going to mix and match. I'm saying do not do it, but I'm going to show you guys why. Let's say I do mix and match, and I go 180 minus 165. When I subtract that, I'll say, well, my answer is 15, which we can tell is way, way up. I know an L shape is 90. That thing looks way more than 90. So 15, that would be like, yeah, that's not even close. Use your logic to double check your work, right? When I do it incorrectly, so let me put a big X on it. When I do it incorrectly, I get a 15. Then I look my, look my, I like, you know, use my logic and I'm more like, yeah, this is way bigger than 15. So not even close. Any questions on these? No?